I'm Dr. Roger and today I'm doing differential equations. I'm going to look, look at the derivative of a function and its Laplace transform. So given y equals f of x, we write uppercase y equals the transform of lowercase y which is defined as an integral transform. The general definition of the integral transform is the integral zero from a to b of k of s t, f of t, dt. For the Laplace, a, a and b are zero to infinity for our limits of integration, and k of s t equals e to negative s t. For the Fourier transform, k of s t will be a different function and for wavelet transforms, it's yet another function. It depends on your objective. In the Laplace transform, we'll find out what we get from doing this. So the transform of y, y prime is defined as the integral from 0 to infinity, e to negative st, f prime of t. And that can be integrated using parts. If I write u equals e to the negative st, dv equals f prime of t dt, du is negative 1 is negative s e to the negative st, and v equals f of t. So integration by parts tells us that the transform of y prime is uv, which is e to the negative st times f of t, minus the integral of v du is minus the negative is plus the integral of s e to the negative st f of t dt, with both of those taken from 0 to infinity. And this is useful because this is e to negative st limit as b goes to infinity f of b minus e to the 0 is 1 times f of 0 plus s times the integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative st f of t is just the transform of lowercase y which I'll write as uppercase y. Now, if f of t grows no faster than an exponential for s greater than some a, which has to be positive, this limit is 0. So the transform is s times uppercase y minus f of 0 or y of 0. The transform of y prime is s uppercase y minus f of 0 or I'll write that as y of 0. If you apply the same method to find the transform of y prime, that will of course tell you, I'm sorry, y double prime, the transform of y double prime is s times the transform of y prime minus y prime of 0. But that is the transform y double prime equals s times s y minus y of 0 minus y prime of 0. So the transform of y double prime is s squared uppercase y minus s y prime of 0 minus or s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And we can continue that process to get the transform of any derivative 
as the transform of the nth derivative is s to n times the transform of your base function minus s to n minus 1 y of 0 minus s to the n minus 2 y prime of 0, etc. Well, we can look these transforms up in our table as needed. It's important to know where the transforms of our basic functions come from, including the transform of y and y prime. So come back soon for my next video. With differential equations, there's always more.